Hey, Chris. Oh, yeah, dude. Cut a big hole in the red. We did it. This is not going to work at all like this. Oh, no. It's going to leak a little. Mm -hmm. And then I got this piece right here, which I haven't fit yet. And this mm -hmm. guy goes mm -hmm. sure. She will just cap her on and off then. I can't wait to lay some weldy up in there. Oh, yeah. And across oh, there. Yeah. We'll count this guy. This is like I was talking about. We got a little notch out of her. This is still plenty wide to get our water outlet or inlet to the pump, whatever you want to call that. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so we took a little width off of there. We can get the rad sitting more where we want it. Still got to plate that guy. And we're going to weld the ANs onto here. But we just wanted to give you a nice view of what's going on here and how to make a dual and or triple pass rad, dude. Boom. Yeah, I'm liking we, it. We do stuff. I'm liking it. Yeah. So, back to it, dude. Let's do it. All right. All right. So we got our block off plate going in there. Then we had to skinny this thing up a little bit so it fit in the chassis a little better. But I am pumped to weld it. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go. Still got a big ass hole there, dude. Yeah. Still gotta figure that out. <laughs> still gotta figure that out. I haven't gotten that for you. It's all good. Uh, I'll probably wait to weld that until I have a piece that's on there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we don't want to blow that out, dude. No, no, we don't. Fire it up. Right. Get her into position. Oh, forgot to read it. <laughs> she's cold, man. She's not going to be too happy. Mm -mm. Oh, what you got there, dude? Oh, there she is. That's going to be one of the plugs for our outside. We're going to do uh, one Safety of the third, dog. Yeah, Those are that. nice gloves. Yeah. So I'll just cut this guy out. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to cap just keep that dropping it and right throwing there. it around. Yeah, right. Oh, that's a good little fit. Cap dude. that guy right there. I got one more to do. I'm going to turn that thing into a D shape and I'm going to weld it all the way across. And uh, I got one more to cut out. Good to go. Yeah, man. And it's all plugged up. And like we said, we're going to change these out for the AM fittings later once we get this thing mounted and we figure out if we want to kick a little angle on these up or down, left or right, uh, to help with the hose routing. So, back to it. Okay. Let's rat it out, dude. Yeah, dude, show me what you're doing, dude. There she is, dude. We did some fun welding adventures All right. today. Well, now it looks super pro. Now it looks dope. So we we did this little D-shaped thingy because we had that hole. This was, these were the holes for the... Uh, what was that? Trans cooler, whatever. Automatic trans cooler. Right. So we said that with that. Mm -hmm. um, made this little D-shaped thing. Made this mm -hmm. little roundy round thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Water does in place. All yeah. done. So basically, I, pass. I did. Uh, I wanted to wait to weld this corner before I got that on there, so I could just do this whole thing in one pass, and it was pretty difficult because really thin, really thick, really thin, really thick, really thin. So it's like constant, like. He's just showing off now. And it's just, yeah, I mean, it doesn't. Yeah. I, and like it was super hard, but it looks like super good, you know, it's because I'm super good. Whatever, whatever, dork. So, on to the next. Um, sorry guys, missed phase one, but you will definitely see us jumping around on our um, shear again. But, we picked up some aluminum, some 063 aluminum, and we're going to make a fan shroud now. Fan uh, Yeah, first thing that old Dillo did was measure the size of the core. Drew that little rectangle. I was gonna say square. It's not square. It's rectangle. And then add in the four sides, the legs for the brake, to give us the depth, because you don't want the fan sitting flat against the radiator. You need to have a, a little bit of a gap to create the vacuum effect, so you're pulling air through the entire rad, not just the surface area of the fan. So first step first, trace it out. Punch it out, cut it out. Um, then we will place the fans. So fan one, fan two. Fan one. Fan two. So yeah, we're gonna do some quick sandering. Punch some holes for the four holes. Nut sort them so they bolt in nice and easy. And um, then trace the uh, diameter and drill a hole. Get the old jigsaw out, your fave. <laughs> the rattle trap. Yeah. The brain juggler. The bury the beaver. <laughs> so over there with beaver teeth. Yeah. 
Uh, that'll be fun. Yeah. But uh, then, yeah, then cut those out, and that's it. No big deal. Lit, man. It's super, super close. All right, well, first off, we can parallel these edges. It's going to hang out the edge a little bit. Just, it actually doesn't have to if you pull Run the sand. super sick move. <clears throat> so we can sit these in the sander and put a little flat right into each one because we've got plenty of surface area. All right, so line these up. So right at these points, just sit them on the sander, take that edge so it's flat. And then we have a little locking effect. And we're good. Sandification. No breathing. <laughs> You're weird. You started it. Okay. okay. Safety third, dog. Third. Dylan, give me a hand here, dog. So you just do it by eye. Nothing crazy. You see? Just a little bit of a flat. But just that little bit will get our fans sitting fully on the shroud, not overhanging. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's do the other one. Let's do it. Let's get her to it. Wow, dude, it's already it's already open. Oh. It's already good. I don't even have to do this side. We're gonna. Yeah, make sure we do this to the spares. Yeah. 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 yeah, we do. Oh man, perfect match, bro. Sack dude. Freaking rights. Freaking rightsy. How do I turn this thing off? Hmm? How do I turn oh, this? Dude, you get to watch forever now. That's your new life. Oh, dude, look at that amount of pickup we got. Look at those edges now. Look at the edge. Perfect. Fit. Double fit. Mm-hmm. That's all it is, man. Just a quick little. We know about stuff. Totally, dude. That's a job done. Job done. Center. Everything's gotta be center. Everything's gotta be perfect. And we're good to go. Check the spacing on both sides. Transfer punch our our holes here. Measure vacation. We're gonna have to stop that, dude. I know. Hey, Dylan, what are you doing over there, dog? Measuring. Mm-hmm. Now, fun little trace job. Anytime you want to stand around and hold this stick, you want me to draw lines? You let me know. Okay. And we could trade at some point. Yeah, that'll be super fun. Here, I'll help rotate the fan. Yeah, How about dude. that? Look at that. Look at this tag team effect. Uh oh, too far. Whoa! Easy rod. The motor. The motor detends. The eccentrics. One down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get your four holes, dog. Why don't you just transfer punch those suckers? I have some in the bottom drawer. I box. know you do, dude. <laughs> mm hmm. I bet you it's this one. What flavor do you think it is? <sighs> Up one, dude. Up one. I looked at it. I thought about it. And I was like, no way, dude. Let me go against my gut instinct because that always works. Every time. <laughs> Every time. That's what I've heard. Hammer, 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 hammer. Hang on. Is it in the quick change drawer? I know. I got to do something. Freaking weirdo. Yeah, I can't wait till we uh, put these quick change gears into, you know, effect for the build of this car. <laughs> Need constant access to those. I'm really glad this is on a piece of cardboard. Too. Yeah, that too. Maybe. I mean, it's going to work. This Mishimoto box is strong, dude. Hey -yo. My God. So centered. So yeah. sick. So, so freaking just. Whoa, that was like... Me, 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 me. How many bros does it take to rotate a fan? Two and a half. Yeah, we're, we're understaffed. We're, we're both one and a quarter people. <laughs> oh, okay. Good? Yes. Okay, transfer punching. Ooh, how about this? Ready? This is definitely how someone gets a finger smashed. Yeah. Oh That's okay, though. Boom, dude! We're totally done! I can't wait to freaking bury the beaver cut this thing. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, you know what to do. You got about 14 holes to drill. Get to it, hole dozer. It's like one of those memes with the... Yeah. Hang on, what's 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2? Stuff, stuff, guys. I like memes. I love memes. Memes are my fave. 
Hey, Chris, how's the car build doing? Oh, good, man. All I do is clean up the shop all day. All day, dude. All day. And I'm about to start work on this thing just a little bit because the chassis is still over at Sam's, which is why building out this rad, all this fun stuff done. It is uh, stuff that can happen. Mm hmm. Yeah, we had to upgrade. I mean, I love Norm and his tools and uh, the ability for us to come in here and use his stuff. But, but, most of the time they didn't work, and that's yeah. fine. Yeah, the batteries were dead, and one drill doesn't go backwards. <laughs> it makes changing bits super fun. <laughs> so, we, it's, we've, it's, been, it's, we've been slowly migrating the, the rest of my gear down here, and we got the old snap on drill now. It's Ready one of the old go. school ones where you have to like use both hands. It yeah, even even time. better. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> I think like got somehow grab like I, just this little sliver yeah, of a. I hate it. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go with a smaller bit because oh, I can't. See? just because you can change it that rapidly. That's right. Right, it's small things. It's, you forget how nice things are sometimes. It's more so proving a point. Woo! Yeah, it is. Oh, I don't know about this one. Hey, safety squints. If there's a rat in there, it's got a new hole in it. <laughs> All right, we only need to show 14 holes getting drilled. Okay, we got the camera back. Chris is cutting out the fan, making a lot of noise. Yeah, dude. How you doing? Someone's got to make noise. See that this is the. Let me put uh, my safety glasses on, like less of a nerd. Hurts my head though, Sam. So yeah, well, wasn't, wasn't it is it. what it is. Yep. So we're just monster trucking these two holes out. See, so just drill a hole in the corner. Mm-hmm. Safety shades. Safety shades for everybody. Ooh, these ones are stylish. Gotta be styling, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta cut out the corners before you bend it. I know you can't hear me. I'm trying to explain, but don't want to shut up. Never! Alright, all the corners are cut out. Quick little tip. Drill a hole in the corner. Gives you more room. I know not everyone's got one of these benders at home, but line her up, clamp her down, give her a little, little tug. Yeah. And then the first one doesn't, not say it doesn't matter, but not nearly as much as it matters like the second one. Why come? Um, because it's got to fit between the tanks on that rad. So the first one, if it's like off a little bit, you know, on one side of your line or the other, you can just mm -hmm. fuck it on the other side without anybody knowing. There you go. All right, bend away, dude. All right. Ooh. Stop freaking talking about it. Tell me, man. Things going to be dead 90. Dead 85. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Can always go a little more. Yep. It's a lot easier than taking bend out or something like that. Oh yeah, I gotta get jiggy with this guy. Oh, you gotta rip out some fingers. <laughs> so, you can There's do little, cool things like box shapes. There is a little holio right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't quite see that. I thought we were just um, gonna make our own you, gap. You would just have to take that one out or yep. something. Yeah. And then loosen them on. I don't know. We, we could just make that. Yeah, gap. that's what I was. That's what I was doing, dog. That's what I was doing. This is our first time using this thing. No, I've used it. You took fingers out of it before? Oh no no no! I didn't take fingers out. Oh, don't take my finger off, dude. Chip it. <whistles> oh, we are getting tight and right now. We might could want to spread these out. Mm. Oh, the red light. Oh, see, got my little peephole right here. Peephole. 
But uh, yeah, just spread out these um, fingers a little bit. Here, let me show you what we're doing here. So spread the fingers out, and then we have a gap that we can let this corner right into so we can get this full 90 bend. It's pretty much fully bent. We did a little test fit, and it needs just like a touch more. We do need to max it out, which is good. Like we said, don't bend it all the way first bend because you want to be able to push it a little bit further if you have to. So You can always bend more. You can always bend less. You know, it's way harder to bend less. So. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, she's real nice Look at that. now. Look at that. Yeah. Just want to make sure we don't want to overdo it. Look at that top side. In perfect fit. Booyah. Booyah. Now we're chalking. That's fine. That's a fine piece right there. Mm -hmm. Whoa. That's a little trip again. Again. Uh -huh. And uh, some of you guys might be thinking, whoa, why is your radiator backwards? Because the M from Ishimoto only goes on one side. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, this car has a rear mount radiator, which means That's right, dude. So she gonna say that the these like that. coolant lines have to go forward to the motor this way, air going this way through it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which would be backwards if, you know, this was the front of your car like a normal, so the air would be coming this way. See. So it doesn't particularly matter, but it does not. But she fits both ways. Fits both ways, which is cool. So, rear mount rad shroud done. Dude, just a couple more nuts to couple, sink. Couple more nuts. Finish that off. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. All right, we'll pass it off. No. You better get back to it. So, as you can see, we uh, successfully bent all four sides, as we said. You know, with that nice um, bender there, you spread the fingers out so you can fit it in between the gaps, bend all four sides, and now you have a perfectly nice fitting radiator. Radiator. So we got a nice little fit up there. We got like a little three quarter inch space off the rad. So it's got a little room. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna still weld up these corners so we can keep a little bit of air from getting sucked through there. 100% sealed, dude. That's right. Yeah, there's no reason not to do that. So we want this thing to be fully sealed, all the air coming through the rat, not around it. So it's looking good. It's getting close. Almost done. A couple tabs, a couple quick welds. And this sucker's gonna be ready to go in. Yeah. Oh yeah. As soon as the car gets back. Oh yeah. As soon as it comes back, dude, we'll be ready for it.